week 11 of the fantasy football season. And here's the top 12 quarterbacks I'm ranking this week. The first guy, Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs. So what a season it's been for Patrick Mahomes, even with Tyreek Hill getting traded to the Miami Dolphins in the offseason. And right here, another good matchup on Sunday Night Football at the division rival, the Los Angeles Chargers, where Mahomes and this Chief team pulled it out early in the season versus the Chargers. So Patrick Mahomes, he's been on a tear of late. This offense is running like a well-oiled machine. Kadarius Tani now another weapon added a few weeks ago to this offense where he scored a touchdown in last week's game. And obviously it scars the limits here for Patrick Mahomes versus a weak secondary of the Los Angeles Chargers with obviously J.C. Jackson out for the season and their defense not really stopping anyone. I think Mahomes this week is the number one quarterback and has a big ball game once again. Number two, Josh Allen. Of the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen, a lot of concern over his elbow going into that Week 10 ball game versus the Minnesota Vikings. But he came out with a solid game. Not the greatest games, 24 fantasy points for Josh Allen. But this week here versus the Cleveland Browns and coming off the two ball games where they were tough losses for this Buffalo Bill team. I think Josh Allen's going to come out firing early and often. This Bill team, you know, it's been the two bad losses and now they're 6-3 on the season. And it starts with Allen. So I think in Allen in this ball game, we're going to see him come out out of the gate hot in this one. And it wouldn't be surprising to me if he has a bounce back ball game in terms of big fantasy points where people think he's hurt now or he's not 100% and he puts up 35, 40 fantasy points. Wouldn't be surprising at all. Number three, Lamar Jackson, the Baltimore Ravens. So Lamar Jackson and the Ravens coming off a bye week here and rested up. Mark Andrews should be back in this ball game. And they got a great matchup versus the Carolina Panthers that obviously can't stop nobody. So right here this week, I think Lamar Jackson is going to have a monster ball game once again. It's Jackson here. He's due to have a big game after the last few weeks. Not much going on for Jackson, scoring anywhere from 15 to 20 fantasy points only. But versus a Carolina defense that really don't stop anyone, I think Jackson could rumble a lot in this one. And it wouldn't be surprising to me if he could rush for 80 to 100 yards as well. So I got him at three this week. Number four, Jalen Hurts of the Philadelphia Eagles. So Jalen Hurts, he's been one of the best fantasy quarterbacks week in and week out this season here. An MVP candidate for the 8-1 and one Philadelphia Eagles. So the Eagles coming off a tough loss, but it wasn't Jalen Hurts' fault. Time of possession, it's which did the Eagles in in that ball game. But Jalen Hurts, he I know a tough matchup on paper at the Indianapolis Colts, but he's a matchup-proof quarterback. He's a guy that's got great weapons in A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith. I know Dallas Goddard's going to be out in this game, and he could take a little bit of a fantasy hit. But this week here, in a great matchup still, I think Jalen Hurts has a good ball game, and I got him at four. Number five, Justin Fields of the Chicago Bears. So a lot of people probably think he's too low on my list as Justin Fields, but he's due to have a bad ball game. After the last few weeks, he's been out of this world with his fantasy numbers as Justin Fields, going over 100 yards rushing in the last two ball games. I know he's got a great matchup with the Atlanta Falcons that don't stop anyone. And this is on the fast track in Atlanta as well in the Dome. So Justin Fields, another big ball game he's gonna have. Would it be surprising to me if one or two top performer this week? It really won't, but you can't go wrong with any of these top five guys. It's just the way it lands for them. Like, you're just starting these guys either way in this top five. And Justin Fields, could he do it for the third week in a row? Score the top fantasy points at the position? It's definitely possible, but this week here, I'm going to pump the brakes just a little bit. And I got him at five, number six, Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers. So we'll see if Keenan Allen and Mike Williams can return in this ball game. That'll be huge reinforcements for this Charger team and Justin Herbert's fantasy outlook. So Herbert, he's still going out there. He's still putting up decent numbers. He's finding guys like DeAndre Carter's been making plays. Joshua Palmer a couple weeks ago making plays out there for this Charger team. And right here, this is a big ball game in the division in the AFC West versus the Kansas City Chiefs coming to town on Sunday Night Football. So Herbert, if he could get Williams and Allen, he definitely gets a boost at quarterback this week here. And I got him at six, number seven, Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals. So all of a sudden this Bengal team, the last few weeks before going into bye week, they've been heating up and Joe Burrow's been putting up numbers. And I think the Super Bowl hangover is finally over for the Cincinnati Bengal team. They're putting points up, they're playing better defense. And this week here versus division rival, the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, it's gonna be a close game. Week one, I know Burrow turned the ball over five times in that game but we're already here in week 11 things have changed obviously i know jamar chase probably not going to play in this ball game but he still has great weapons and t higgins tyler boyd 
Hayden Hurst. And now teams really got to respect Joe Mixon, especially after coming off that five touchdown game in week nine versus Carolina. So Burrow here, everything going right right now for Cincinnati, except that one hiccup in week eight versus Cleveland. But I think Burrow comes out in this one and has a good one. Number eight, Kirk Cousins of the Minnesota Vikings. So what a ball game last week for this Minnesota Viking team. And Kirk Cousins hanging in there. He took a lot of shots and he kept his team hanging around. They were down 17 points at a tough Buffalo Bill team. But Kirk Cousins kept hitting his number one man in Justin Jefferson with one of the best catches you'll ever see, or if not the best catch in NFL history, in my opinion. But anyway, this week here, pretty solid matchup. This Dallas Cowboys secondary really hasn't stopped anyone over the last few weeks. We just saw him get torched by Christian Watson, the rookie, 107 yards and three TDs. And in this one, it wouldn't be surprising to me if Justin Jefferson goes for 150 to 200 yards in this ball game and finds the end zone once or twice. And obviously, that's just a lot of fantasy points for Kirk Cousins. So right here versus the Dallas Cowboys, I got him an eight. And then wouldn't be surprising to me if it's a shootout and he could get 25 to 30 fantasy points. Number nine, staying in the same game, Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys. So, so far, Dak Prescott, since he returned a few weeks ago, he's been a better fantasy quarterback than a real-life quarterback, taking a lot of chances, thrown into double or triple coverage it's been for Prescott. We saw him throw two timely in those that wasn't good for this Cowboy team, including one in the end zone in last week's game. But this is a game where the Cowboys could be trailing and coming from behind or just going up and down the field with this Minnesota Viking team like we saw a little bit last week with the Packers. So Dak Prescott, him and CeeDee Lamb are on the same page. Lamb had the best game of the season for him going over 30 fantasy points. Dalton Schultz, his best game of the fantasy season with 16.50 in PPR leagues. And also you got Tony Pollard operating as a great running back back there. We'll see if Ezekiel Elliott plays, but if he does, I think we'll see a 50-50 split. But anyway, Dak Prescott and this Cowboy team, they got to get over the hump. And what's a better way to make a statement game than beat an 8-1 Minnesota Viking team? So if Dak could come out firing in this ball game and get things going, we'll see. But right now, this week, I still like him as a guy if they're playing catch-up to put up decent fantasy points. And number 9, number 10, Kyler Murray of the Arizona Cardinals. So Murray, he obviously missed the Week 10 ball game at the Los Angeles Rams, but it was no problem for this Cardinal team winning that ball game handily at a busted up and banged up Ram team that pretty much looks finished now with all their big injuries. But anyway, Kyler Murray, this is a big game here for this Arizona Cardinal team versus the San Francisco 49ers. We know this Niner defense is getting healthy and one of the best units in all pro football. But Kyler Murray this season, I know the numbers haven't been eye-popping and amazing, but he's always been a top 10 quarterback pretty much weekly and this week here if he returns on Monday Night Football I got him in number 10 number 11 Jimmy Garoppolo staying in the same game of the San Francisco 49ers so Jimmy G he was on a little bit of a good streak with 20 or more fantasy points for three weeks in a row and then that was broken in week 10 versus the Chargers with only 16 fantasy points but right now he's got a lot of good weapons Debo Samuel Brandon Ayuk George Kittle Christian McCaffrey a great receiver Obviously out of the backfield over there for the 49ers. So right here this week, it's going to be a shootout, I think, in Arizona, especially if Murray plays in this game. And it's the fast track as well on Monday Night Football. So I think Jimmy Garoppolo is a decent option this week here. And a guy you could have confidence in the top 12. And I got him in 11 and the 12th and final quarterback. I'm ranking this week's Aaron Rodgers. The Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers, had his best game of the season versus a pretty decent Dallas Cowboy defense in that one. Christian Watson might be the hot new toy over there for this Green Bay Packer team. And obviously a guy with a lot of high hopes coming into the season for the Packers. They did draft him early in the NFL draft. So Aaron Rodgers, he had three touchdowns all to Watson, obviously. Aaron Lazard stepping as well in that offense over there for the Green Bay Packers. Robert Tanya, we don't see, has done much. Aaron Jones could catch the ball out of the backfield. And now if he's got two solid receivers in Lazard and Watson, well, obviously he trusts is Aaron Rodgers. He's a guy that could get back to form because this is what this Packer team needed, a deep ball threat down the field that could stretch the field and open things up. And at least in that week, 10 game versus the Cowboys. Watson did that for Rodgers. So this week here in a mediocre matchup versus the Titans, I got him at 12. So that's the top 12 quarterbacks I'm ranking for week 11 of the fantasy football season.